you got into homesteading um by all sounds of it uh by through um food storage um you you kind of like started doing like um food storage and um that then ultimately got you into homesteading i was wondering if you could maybe just explain a little bit about what homesteading is and then um how did like food storage get you into it so this is what i would say homesteading is i think homesteading is learning how to be self-sufficient so part of self-sufficiency is, you know, you're able to take care of yourself, you're nourishing yourself, you're trying to grow your own food, finding areas for that. I didn't start out growing my own food. I had a little bit of a garden, not quite to the extent that I have now. And I was also, I would say homesteading is that community aspect. It is, I feel like community truly is everything, but I started homesteading because well, you know, we had the weirdness of 2020, the shelves were completely empty. And I was just like, yeah, I, this is a fail of a system. I am never going to depend on a system like this again. Why would I ever put um, myself in the hands of the system and not be able to eat? That makes no sense. My grandparents would be, a sh great grandparents would be so ashamed of me. And so I started by finding a local farm and I started sourcing my eggs there. So that was kind of like my big community jump. I got to know these farmers who were selling eggs. And it actually, the farm store was down the road for me, which is really cool. And then I started to source out raw milk because that was another thing that I realized, oh, wow, pasteurized milk is actually not great for me. What am I doing? Raw milk. Wow. I have been brainwashed. So started just these little things. And then, so that was even before 2020, but it really hit me standing in those empty uh, stores. And so I started to build up a food storage with canning. So learning how to can, like my great grandma did, my dad said in their cellar, he just walls of canned food so they could feed their family. So that was a big inspiration for me. But I think homesteading really goes back to being self-sufficient and being able to rely on yourself and not rely on the system. And that's why I tell people, you can do that from anywhere. You don't need 38 acres of land to do so. Maybe if you want a cow, but the thing is you could go find a local farmer who's selling great quality meat that would be the same as if you had a cow. And plus you don't have to deal with the feed and rotating pastures and you can source your stuff locally. So that's what I would say homesteading is. Anybody can do it.